What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Greg White from BeyondComics.tv here talking to you today about nutrition and health and what I take every other day. <clears throat> so I'll give you my regime. This is really great if you have joint problems, back or neck pain injuries, knees, elbows, etc. Uh, also if you want to wake up uh, without using coffee. So here are some terrific stuff that I use. So I start my morning with this. Okay, I literally take a, a half a scoop of this, which just super energy boosts me, combined with one teaspoon of this. And the uh, Shalajit powder is phenomenal. And by the way, for those of you guys who know, uh, I have a lot of allergies, so this is great for gluten-free, vegan, people who have allergies, all this stuff is great. I also take one scoop of this collagen, which is very helpful for joints, again, and other things. I also mix into that this uh, iGluconamine powder, which is also very, very helpful, combined with a, a squeeze of about one-third of a lemon with a little bit of baking soda, about a teaspoon of baking soda. That keeps your pH balance really healthy. Now, moving on, I also take a full dropper of vitamin B12. Uh, again, this just helps you wake up and activate your brain so you feel like groggy and you can't move. You take this and you feel normal which is terrific. And it won't keep you awake if you want to take a nap or sleep later. Um, also, I take a droplet of here, this uh, vitamin D3, very important for bone. Uh, if you don't get outside enough, you don't get enough sun, you need to take this. <coughs> Obviously, consult with a doctor before moving forward. If you're ever stressed out, I do not recommend taking this unless you are very stressed out, which is this thing called box rescue remedy, Bach rescue remedy. That's only for extreme, you know, uh, fatigue if you're like super uh, anxiety ridden or nervous. I haven't taken that for a long time. I've just tried to meditate and do a TM med meditation, like transcendental meditation and stuff like that. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, if you have a cold or you don't feel good, it's good to take zinc, but never, uh, do not take too much zinc and only take it once in a blue moon, not a lot, unless you have a cold and you take it for a week. Um, that's fine. Take it with food uh, or a little bit after food so that you don't hurt your stomach. Do not mix it with dun, 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 vitamin C. You cannot mix vitamin C with zinc, ever. You have to wait two and a half hours <clears throat> apart or so before taking them. Uh, otherwise, they cancel each other out. Okay, moving on to what I do. So I take these things that I had mentioned in the morning. I take this in the morning. I then have like a little bowl of oatmeal, natural organic oatmeal. Um, you know, maybe some apple cinnamon oatmeal, something like that. And then after that digests, about 30 minutes later, I come back and I continue my regime by taking a um, vitamin B complex 100. Um, if you have any back pain, nerve pain from injuries or whatever, vitamin B6 is very helpful to take. But you cannot take this for more than about a month, maximum once a day. Uh, your body can't handle too much of that, so you got to kind of stop after a while and wait a few months for it to flush out. Um, don't forget also that vitamin D3 builds in your system, so that's why you don't want to take too much of it. So get a, a test to check your vitamin D levels. Next, I take chlorophyll. Uh, if it's good for plants, it's probably good for us. Absorbs nicely in the body. Again, if you have you know injuries in your joints, your bones, uh, this is called bone up, which sounds like it's some kind of a sexual thing, but it's not. It specifically has that MK7 for bone density and to help with that. Um, the other thing that's really helpful, uh, again, you could take this vitamin, uh, is co collagen, but again, you don't need that if you're taking the collagen in powder form, which works far better. Um, also take this here, liquid vitamin C, which you actually uh, urinate out of your system every couple of hours. So if you want to keep your vitamin C levels high and not get a cold or whatever, build your immune system, you'll need to take this probably three times a day. Um, it's good to get about 500 milligrams in a day, 500 at night if you do twice a day. Also good immune booster uh, right here, this mushroom uh, made from actual mushrooms, not the drug. <laughs> um, also if you don't have meat, if you don't have iron and you're low on iron, you might need to take a one daily iron pill, not too much. Maybe just take it like, you know, once a week for like a couple of months and that's it. Or take it once a day for like a week and then stop. Okay, you cannot have too much iron in the body. Again, consult with a doctor. Don't go by what I'm saying because everybody's individualized and, and you know, and different. Um, Omega-3 fish oil, very important. Take it. 
uh, wellness formula helps boost um, excuse me uh, boost immune immunity uh, wheatgrass 500 milligram very helpful as well um, let's see you can also I also take once in a while if you're concerned about you know um, things like the the future of getting a large prostate or something like that thank God mine is fine but in my family it's been an issue with men who get you know to be over 65 or 70 so you just take this once in a while not too much maybe you take one one of these like once or twice a week that's all um, again if you have those injuries and you're allergic to shellfish you could take this instead uh, which I get at the um, GNC it's a joint uh, movement glucosamine chondroitin and MSM and that's very important combination but again the regular kind has shellfish which I'm allergic to so you don't want to take that a lot of people are allergic to that um, you could also take this which I got Omega XL um, this is also very helpful. Um, it is made from uh, this this uh, portion of the shell of um, shellfish, but they remove the protein that causes the allergic reaction. So even though I break out and turn super red and you know get flushed and get all allergic if I have a lobster or a shellfish, I cannot eat that. Can't have shellfish. Um, I have no allergy to this at all, and this is specifically made for people with allergies, and that's why they remove the protein, so it's fine. Uh, then I take this for uh, a little extra collagen here, again, for joint mobility, flexibility, as well as uh, Wobazim uh, N, or Wobazim N, again, for joint health. Um, this probiotic, once, once every other day, very good to put back the healthy bacteria, not the bad kind, especially if you have an antibiotic, you want to take this after you finish your round of antibiotics, and every day, two pills of cocoa well. Very important for the brain to wake yourself up, and it seems to work. Like, I just remember stuff better. Um, you know, maybe it's a placebo effect, I'm not sure, but, you know, I, it, it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, it's a lot of stuff to take to keep yourself going. You know, but when you get into your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, you need to replenish what the body used to uh, be able to take on its own naturally. So, guys, I hope this helps you. Um, I'll give you a whole regime next of what to take for libido, for guys who want to kind of rev themselves back up. If you don't want to take things with side effects like Viagra and all that kind of stuff, and you want to get your libido back and get some strength back in there, um, you know, there, there's something that's a, a tremendously helpful, natural uh, combination, which I'll go to next, and that should hopefully help you guys out. Um, and it's, it's great. I mean, the stuff just kind of puts you back to normal. It just keeps you balanced and normal as these things start to decline as you get older. So hopefully this will help you guys out. Uh, post your comments below. Make sure to subscribe for updates. My next video will have that stuff on libido, and I hope that it helps you. That's up here, which I'll talk about in uh, the next video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. This is comic book artist, writer, and director Greg White from BeyondComics.tv coming at you live and direct, and I hope this brings you nice, happy health and a better, less painful, less suffering life. Bye. And uh, P.S., if you guys get a chance to check out my comic book, it's called Gekito, created by Brandon Wilson and myself. He's the writer, I'm the artist. It's our new comic book, and the upcoming action figures will be coming out. We're doing the Coco as Cleo action figure. It's very exciting. You'll see some of the celebrities portraying our characters, just like you'd cast a movie. And here's some of my artwork here in the comic book that you can see. So I hope you guys check it out, and uh, you can get it right here at beyondcomics.tv. That is the website. And thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe for updates. Check out the other videos. And as they say in comic books, to be continued.